airship named Chauncey that had a lot of people to fly across the skies. He had a brave captain and a stout heart, and he loved the adventure of flying. He flew along with the captain steering him until he came to a storm over a mountain. It was a wide storm, and he couldn't see any way around it, so he tried to go through it. There's Chauncey. But no matter how hard he tried, he could not get up the slope. He flew and he flew. He sailed and he steamed. He backed away and started again. Puff, puff, with his balloon. Oh no, the windy storm pushed him back down. He stared at the mountain, thinking hard. Aha! Do you know what idea he had? If he couldn't go around it, and he couldn't go through it alone, he would go look for help. Most assuredly, I can find a big airship to help, he thought. The captain agreed. Over the valley and past the woods he flew. Puff, 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 with his balloon. Then he saw a big airship floating by a wash. He was getting his deck scrubbed and polished, so he would look perfect for his luxury passengers. He looked very strong and shiny. Floating alongside, the little airship said, Will you help me get over the mountain and through the storm? It's so wide and windy, I can't make it through. The big luxury ship looked down to the little airship. Don't you see that my decks and hull are almost perfect? I cannot help you, or the storm would make me dirty again. Chauncey and his captain were sad, but they understood. So they went looking for help. There's the big airship, the big luxury airship. Soon they came upon a giant cargo ship hauling his load. He looked tired, but he was so big that the little airship was sure that the big airship could help. So flying next to him, he asked, Will you help me get over the mountain and through the storm? It's so wide and windy, I can't make it through. The cargo ship looked down and answered, Little friend, I am hauling cargo. Can't you see how tired I am? It is heavy, and if I help you, it will make me late. I understand, and thank you for thinking about it. After all, the little airship didn't want to be rude. So on they went, still looking for help. Big cargo ship. Passing back across the meadow, he came across another little airship just like him. She was floating along, watching the storm in the distance. Hello, my name is Chauncey, he said. I can't get past the storm. Do you think you can help? Hello, Chauncey. My name is Yvette. I'm having the same problem. Do you think that if we work together, we could get through the storm, she asked. I think you're right, Yvette. I think we can. Let's try. Off they went to brave the storm together. There's Yvette. Yvette pushed against the storm, and Chauncey pushed his hull against her. With her shielding from the wind and his extra push, they slowly started to make it through the storm. It was hard work, and both airships were saying, I think we can, I think we can, I think we can, I think we can, I think we can! There they are, through the storm. And then they were through the storm. It had been hard work, but together they had done it. Now each could carry their own passengers in safety again. Once they were down the mountain, they thanked each other and traded port mail addresses so they could stay friends. And each of them sailed towards their ports, knowing there was nothing they couldn't accomplish with the help of a good friend, and singing, We knew we could, we knew we could, we knew we could. There we are, sailing into the sunset. The end.